Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I'm going to show you this amazing card that I got the idea from the fabulous stamper Margot Richardson. So thank you Margot for this adorable card using the Bonanza Buddies stamp set, framelits, designer series paper, the whole suite I used um, because these products are so, so fabulous. Like look at those little animals and the, um, and the birthday they uh, balloons and hat and gifts and everything it's just it's it's so fabulous and I'm loving it and the thing is is you haven't even seen the most amazing part so this is the super cute card but check this out isn't that amazing here actually let me zoom out and so you can see all of this look how fabulous this card is and it still fits in a regular size envelope, which makes it even more fabulous. So let's get started on how I created uh, this amazing card um, that Margot has shared with us. So I'm gonna zoom back in. Okay, so I started with a Mango Melody card base. This measures four and a quarter by 11, and I'm just going to fold this in half and use my bone folder for that nice strong crease. And then I'm going to fold this bottom piece of the card front back up again. So I'm gonna fold it back in half up to the top. So now we just have that regular card base, but we do have this fun little zigzag. So I folded it in half and then folded the front back up again. Then I'm going to take a piece of basic black and this measures three and a quarter by 10. And I actually scored this at four and a half and seven and a quarter. And again, I just kind of folded that into a zigzag pattern. So you can see that zigzag pattern. And so these are actually going to overlap and you can see it becomes like a double Z fold card but it's like a double Z fold card going up instead of like this. Cause we've done double Z folds before that go like this, but this one goes up and down. And so it's so super fun. So now for each of these panel pieces, I have um, all of them are three inches. So this one is three inches by four and a quarter. And I added the little designer paper and some uh, ribbon and I stamped the little lion on here. He's gonna go on that first panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere him down. I did use a little bit of tear and tape to hold my ribbon, which I'll show you how I did that on the last one. So I'll rip the, that off as well as add some of my snail adhesive. Okay, so I just wanted to show you on this last one how I did the ribbon, and I simply just placed it on there, folded around to the back side, and took some tear and tape to secure it down. I just like that tear and tape um, seems to just be a little bit more secure uh, than regular snail adhesive. So I'm just going to secure it back here with that tear and tape, and actually I, um, I pulled it tight and then secured it and then trimmed off any extra each time so that I wasn't wasting any ribbon and wasn't adding any bulk to the back. So this is my last piece, so I'm just gonna trim it right past that, um, that tear and tape. And now I'll add snail and put it on that last panel. And there we have each of our panels for our Z fold card. So now it's time to actually secure it to the card. So we just wanna make sure it's nice and centered. And then we just wanna make sure that we're only adding adhesive, not to the entire back of this, because otherwise you're gonna seal it closed. You only wanna add it to the top portion. So using this as my guide, I'm actually going to take some tear and tape and place it down the middle, and then I'm just gonna fill in with um, a little extra snail adhesive. So this I'm just going to place 
like diagonally here and then I'm going to add a little bit of snail to kind of fill it out and we want to make sure we didn't go too high so we're perfect there and then now I'm just going to press and then again I'm going to flip the whole card over and then this time we can actually add it to the entire back of this black piece and I always find it best to um, to seal it closed as the card lays so that your Z's aren't like off a little bit. So even if they, you know, maybe aren't perfectly in the center, it's better that the card lays flat than having you try to like, you know, offset it and everything. So it's best to just let it lay flat. So now that I've peeled the adhesive off and sure why not, let's add some more to the center. Then I'm just going to close it. And there, we have that double Z and we have that super fabulous, cute card. So now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my little balloons to that first top little lion. So I added dimensionals on all of them. The one uh, string goes underneath here, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna add it, let's see, which one? I know one of them I didn't stamp perfectly it's a little off, so I'm gonna set that one there, and then I'm just gonna overlap one of the other balloons to cover up some of that little boo-boo. So there you go. Super, super fabulous. Again, I used that Bonanza Buddies stamp set and the coordinating framelits, as well as the designer series paper and the fabulous ribbon. And then for me, I'm actually just going to add a piece of Whisper White to the back of the card so that I have a place to write my message. Um, this then allows me to be able to write my message somewhere that's still hidden while you can still enjoy the front of this card. So isn't that super, super fabulous? Again, I have to thank Margo uh, for this amazing idea because uh, she nailed it and I fell in love instantly. So thanks again, Margo. Of course, I'll be having pictures of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there. Um, you can also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.